Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to clean my entire house. Not this area. This area I like to start out like super excited. I'm like, okay, let's film all of the house and then I'll clean all of the house. But just pretend like I don't have an entryway. But we are going to clean all of this part of my house, put away my summertime decorations, and bring out the fall vibes. I'm super excited about it. I'm also using my gimbal for the first time in a very long time, and it hates when you try to tilt up or down, and the control to move it up or down is opposite of what you would expect. So this is kind of a chaotic, not great filming of it all, but I'm sorry, you guys. That's just how my life is, and you know, it's great. Kitchen's not the worst we've ever seen it, so I bought these hydrangeas. That's my favorite flower. I bought them the day before I'm showing you this, and all except for one died. They just died overnight. I did put water in. I put that little packet of stuff, and they just died. That really made me sad. I did not go to Hobby Lobby and buy a bunch of fall stuff. I am not sure what those bags and fall things are. Um, I think probably somebody else did something. Here's everybody. They all think they're going outside to go to the bathroom. Nobody's going outside right now. I don't know what's happening. And the little bits of leftovers from when we redid my bedroom, uh, that still hasn't made it anywhere but right there. It still feels really crowded and uncomfortable when I come out of my bedroom. And while I did spend that whole week trying to clean my house the week before, I'm finally going to do it today. And I actually do it. So one thing that's been bothering me quite a bit is the windows, both my front door and my back sliding glass door, they're covered in fingerprints and smudge and um, we've had really humid weather lately, and it's been condensing and fogging up our glasses. And my kids thought it was really cute to like finger write a bunch of stuff into the window. It's not cute. It's horrible. So that first things first, let's do it before it gets super hot outside. So we only have to be outside in half of what I am pretty sure is the temperature of hell. It's only about half that right now. So we can get this done. I realize I have to be inside my house on the stool to be able to reach the top of the glass, but I also can't relock that one door on the top. I have to ask Mark to do it. And watching this back, I've forgotten. He has no idea and I still have to ask him. So hopefully I will remember to have him relatch the top before... I don't know, before the zombie apocalypse, because it's got to be easier to breach the doors when they're not really bolted. Okay. Also, the windows of, on that door, like when the collapse of society happens, having that much glass in the entry and the back way, like it's going to be so easy for people to try to break in and loot. And I'm genuinely wondering, should I get a bunch of like, wood planks and then put them in my garage. That way I don't have to run to Home Depot right as society's collapsing. I feel like a lot of people will be at Home Depot. And while I did make an alliance with a Home Depot worker while I was redecorating my bedroom, um, what are the odds she'll be there at the same time? So I've already formed key alliances, but I don't really want to run to Home Depot. So, I'll, but it is kind of crazy to hoard those things. We'll see what happens next time I'm at Home Depot, but maybe I will buy a bunch of planks to board up those two sides just so I don't have like extra errands when everything's going to pot and, you know, it just seems dangerous. So I do like to plan ahead. Okay, first things first is to make everybody absolutely insane and wash my dishes and then put them in the dishwasher. I want to just head this off at the pass because so many people are going to come in and comment. The reason why I do it is because I'm certifiably bonkers. I am. I am crazy. I get a paycheck from the government for being batshit crazy. I'm never going to change this. I just don't think they get clean if I put them in the dishwasher. So that's why I do that. I also am 
No, I'm just gathering dishes. Yeah, I was going to say I'm like tidying up on the kitchen counter, but I'm not. I'm just getting as much as I can to cram into the, the, the sink so that I can start washing them. I feel like that's the capacity. I don't know that I could put that much more into the sink without it all toppling over. Let's see. Okay, I have another cup. Do I try it? No, I set them to the side. But it was something. It was something. Oh my God, hold on. I got to pause this and tell my husband to stop singing to Leroy while I'm doing my voiceover. Actually, well, I'll just do it while you guys are here. Here we go. Texting my husband, babe, stop singing to the dang animals when I'm doing voiceover. I'm doing voiceover. Is this weird, you guys? Should I not do this? I don't know why he thinks that I can't hear him. Like, he'll, like, hush the kids a little bit. But I think he thinks his voice just doesn't travel that much. And it does. He's so loud all of the time. And he makes a lot of nonsense noise. So he's ADHD. And I don't know if it's universally that. But... He makes so much nonsense noise. He is singing to the pets. He's making up cute little rhymes and songs about the things he sees in the house. He Sometimes it's just noise that comes from his mouth. He is so noisy and loud. And it's so funny because our son is very similar to him. My husband's always like, oh my gosh, that kid makes so much noise. I'm like, hmm, really? Really do you think he's super, like, makes a lot of noise? So anyways... I mean, I still like my husband, but, you know, he's noisy. Okay, looks like we're wrapping this up after my tangent about how noisy my husband is, which is good. I feel like everybody should have a glimpse into my marriage dynamics. Oh, it's terrible, right? Glad that I didn't slice my finger like last time on these chef knives. Okay. Here I realized, so that's what happened. I cleaned the front doors and then I thought, okay, you know what? I want to get the dishes going while I, um, sorry, my husband texts me back. I will sing their praises when I find it appropriate. So there you go. <laughs> so I decided to do the dishes, let it run. And then I wanted to go back to this window so that I could do it before it gets, you know, so hot. It's so hot, you guys. I do trap sweet potato out there. She likes being out there so much and we just monitor how hot it is. I slow this down. <laughs> do you guys remember Ace Ventura Pet Detective when he's being birthed out of that rhino because he got trapped in? That's exactly how I felt trying to get out of that chair like that. And so now I'm watching sweet potato. I think she's trying to catch something and I know she's going to climb the screen and I don't want that to happen. So I'm keeping an eye on her. Man, I don't think she does it. Okay, the thing that's been bothering me the most, this footboard, we have to go put it in the garage with the headboard and then the two side planks. So here's the theme of cleaning today and it's gonna drive a lot of you guys crazy because so many people like to be in a room, clean the room, room is done and I do that technique sometimes, but when I really need to clean and things are kind of overwhelming and I'm not really sure where to start or what to do next, or like, it's just hard to go. I do what I feel like doing, whatever looks like the next fun thing for me to do and not even fun, but the next thing I'm willing to do, that's what I do next. So there's a lot of ping ponging through this. And that is just because I feel like it. And if I'm going to, I have to do what I feel like doing on days like this. So here we are in a side quest where I am going to vacuum and then wash Beauty's bed. I want to put this back in my room, but I'm also weirdly allergic to Beauty's fur and her saliva, which I didn't know until after we got Rottweiler. So now I know. And so I want to wash it to get most of her dander off if I can before I put it in my bedroom just to help things a little bit. 
And then it leaves a pile of cushions over on the side. And I'm like, okay, well, that's really annoying because it's taking up a lot of space. And I hate that. And I know I want to get this zone taken care of. Oh, Leroy's true love, uh, the bear. <laughs> he ate a hole in the bear and there's like little tufts of fur everywhere. So we decided to let it go and Calvin's throwing it out, but he didn't want Leroy to see. So I got to distract Leroy while Calvin went and threw it away. It was gross, guys. It needed to go. And then that pillow was also gross because after I was redoing my room, um, Leroy peed on it because I think he was just protesting. And so that was fun too. He's a bad dog. Look at him. That's a bad dog right there. Everybody knows it. Okay, now I have the, do you see the shelving drawer unit behind me? There's literally nowhere for that to go. I have been thinking about it quite a bit and like anguishing over this. I've been trying to picture it in any of the kids' rooms, whether or not I take it upstairs. And it just doesn't really go anywhere whatsoever. But it is holding a lot of paperwork and stuff like that that I'm not willing to try to sort. So I have to move it somewhere so it can keep holding those papers. And I've decided I'm going to move the chess table that literally no one uses and the cats have destroyed over into the living room. That's where it used to be a long time ago. And then I'm going to move the shelving unit thing onto the wall over here. And I'm just, I want to move, I want to work through the back room. I've ignored it a few times. I have the rug that I took and I had washed at the laundromat. And they added so much fabric softener, so much. Actually, kind of, I wouldn't say ruined the rug, but the rug is not great. Um, but it's been in my car, and every time I get in the car, it is, it's just terrible. It's so smelly and rolling down the windows, and then you just get hot Georgia air coming in at you. And so I need it out of my car. I just do. It has to get out of my car. It's too much of an enclosed space for that much fabric softener stink. Okay, so clearly I haven't swept behind here in a while. There is tissues and bare fuzz from armpits and dog hair. Always dog hair. Did you guys hear my husband sneeze? How selfish is, is he? I'm going to text him. Stop sneezing. Here we go. Hold on. To husband. Stop sneezing, you selfish stink pile. There we go. So I apologize for his terrible behavior and poor manners. This is why I voice over during the week instead of when he's home. He's just, he's, he is rotten like Leroy. Nobody likes my husband. Okay, so we're just going to mop this very tiny section of this room. And now we're going to move to the small round chair. I wish this chair was a different color. I thought it was going to be the best color when I selected it. And then I hit you guys. Sorry, I hit you with that. Um, and it just kind of isn't the right color because it just doesn't really match with any season except for Christmas. My Christmas decorations look good. I love my unscented Febreze. Okay, so if you haven't been here before, um, sorry that I've been talking like you've seen all of my videos. Uh oops, but I found out that Febreze comes unscented. It was originally unscented, but nobody would remember to use it because like they just didn't think to use it. And then they realized if they add a bonkers amount of fragrance into it, people would use it like crazy. But if you Google, you can get unscented and I love it. It still sucks up all of the unwanted smells but you don't have to smell fragrance. I, I'm so sensitive to fragrances, you guys. It's a problem. I can get massive headaches. I cannot handle if like my husband and I are going out and he puts on cologne and then we get in the car together. It's really overwhelming. And I, I remember when I was a kid with my mom's perfume, I just have a really hard time with heavy scents. So unscented Febreze is a blessing. That's Leroy being bad. Everybody is bad during my voiceover. Goodness. <laughs> now my husband's yelling at the dogs. This is chaos, you guys. I'm not doing a great job. 
but I'm not going to start over because I have been trying so hard to get this video edited and out for you guys and the universe has been working against me. I tell you what, I, instead of doing the editing and voiceover yesterday, I went to the hospital because my heart was deciding that it was a little bit dramatic and I guess my circulatory system wasn't getting enough attention. So it had a little bit of a tantrum and I had to go in and then it calmed down. It felt really good that the doctors were all excited to see it. And now I am feeling a lot better and, you know, we'll be getting my heart the attention she desires with a cardiology appointment later. So hopefully that will keep the peace a little bit and everything will be nice and stable and calm. Okay, so rem remember the last time I tried to put the rug with the chair there and I had my son holding up the chair and I climbed underneath and it was trying to crush me to death. I can link that video here, but I decided, oh, you know what? Maybe I just move the chair then I can mop the entire room and then I could put the rug down without, you know, the worst, like it was so uncomfortable. It was so hard to do that. So we finished mopping the room and abandoned the room completely because the floor has to dry anyways and I am tired of being in that room. So it looks like I felt like being in the kitchen and that's where we are. We're just going to do pick up all the trash first. So that's what we're doing here. And then we are going to move some more dishes into the sink for me to wash later. Okay, and I'm breaking down the boxes. Now inside this box, this I'm pulling out right here. Okay, that it looks like a VR headset, but it's not. So my daughter has a extremely it's not lazy eye i don't sure it's a lazy eye if she takes her glasses off her eye turns straight into her nose and it's been like that for so long that her brain is not registering anything that really comes through on that side even with her glasses on her eyes go straight but her brain is essentially ignoring any input from that eye and I was talking to the doctor about it and he said, well, this is aimed. It's a lot like patching, but it's aimed to younger kids, but why not try it? So it's a VR headset that you get from this one company it gets prescribed to you and um, you have to pay $150 because it doesn't really go through my insurance um, per month to rent the equipment. And then when you log in, it remembers her prescription and she just watches TV through it. She watches like episodes of SpongeBob. There's other cartoons in there and she watches for an hour and it's essentially showing the other eye. Like it's like patching, but it's trying to force her brain to understand that there is input in the lazy eye. She's so compliant and I'm really excited to see if it works. Okay. There I'm like, let's fill the liver tablets and I put the gloves on and they felt so horrific against my skin. I could not tolerate it and could not get them off fast enough. And it was, ugh, it was just such a weird sensory feeling. I couldn't handle wearing them. So I'm just going to fill my liver capsules barehanded. And I figured if I'm going to clean and do dishes later anyways, I should get the liver smell off. And the liver is not as smelly to me since taking so much it's not a super pleasant smell but it doesn't make me want to die anymore and so I sped this up a ton I don't do like all the caplets or anything like that just until I got bored with it and I don't know I think I maybe did like 20 and we're gonna put it away but that was a fun little side quest wasn't it the vain idea. Like, I'm just like, oh, sure. I can wash that right off. No, it's still on my hands, I'm sure. Okay. What am I doing? Okay, it looks like I'm just going to clean off the rest of the counter now. 
so that I can clean off the counter. You know what I meant by like, I'm clearing this counter so I can clean the counter is what I'm trying to say. I can't decide what I do with that seasoning thing I just had in my hand. Did I set it in the counter or did I throw it away? I know it's low, but it's one of my favorite seasonings. It's a Creole seasoning. And I'm worried I threw it away. Who knows? Because remember the last time I cleaned my kitchen, I put Dijon mustard in the junk drawer. (laughs) So I don't really know what I'm doing with my life. I have two huge things of butter out because I forgot I had a butter out and I opened a second one. So now we have to get through like two pounds of butter. Not like it's going to go bad, but still. Oh, it's almost finished off. So this round American flag and then this long tray, we're going to put these up. The American one, because that's clearly my Americana decor. And the other one, because I'm kind of tired of it. So I have to throw away the dying flowers, of course. And this is me not finding my scissors. I had them two and a half seconds ago. And where are the scissors? I had two pairs two and a half seconds ago. Yahtzee, found it. All right, so we just have this one sad little flower left. I mean, they were like those, what is it, three for $12 things at Publix, but you would think that they would live longer than 11 hours when you bring them home. And they were so beautiful, you guys. Okay, so I sped this up a lot. You can't really see it, but what I'm doing here, I took a new sponge out and put it for dishes. And then I took my old dishes sponge and cut a corner off. It's worn, but not useless. And I cut a corner off and everybody in my family knows a sponge with a corner cut off has been used for cleaning. So it might have like cleaning supplies, 409, anything like that on it and not to use those for the dishes, but it kind of gives a second life to the sponges. And that's what I decided to do, rotate out my dishes sponge and use this as a cleaning sponge. And this may seem excessive for cleaning where I clean with the Dawn dish soap and then I am going to wipe it off. Then I'm gonna wipe off the counter with water to get a little bit more of that soapy stuff off um, with a wet rag. And then I wipe off my counter one more time with like one of those, it's not microfiber because it's definitely not that texture, but like the glass cloths, if you, if you've seen them or own one, you know what I'm talking about, but it's just a different cloth that you use on glass and it doesn't leave spots or streaks. So our water is extremely hard. And if I just like wipe off the water and there's still a little bit of droplets, it will create like the droplet residue. So I like to go over it with the glass cloth one last time to make sure that there aren't any like hard water deposits left over. And I don't do this every time I clean my kitchen and I rarely clean my kitchen. So I don't feel like it's too much work. Okay. So suddenly there was stuff from Hobby Lobby. (laughs) Weird, right? Uh, so why not? Let's use it since it made it into my house. This is the runner. It had like a weird stain on it, but it came off relatively decently with the uh, dog dish soap, which I'm using for everything, I realize. And a new little platter, which is cute. Whoever picked out these like decor things and then snuck them into my home they have really good taste. Like they could be a designer. Oh, and look, fake hydrangeas. Wasn't sure if I would like them or if they would look way too fake. And, um, what I found since doing this and having them out, it doesn't bother me at all. It's like the, it's not like you're staring at the flowers directly all of the time. It just kind of like lends itself to the vibe of the room. And it looks really cute. So I'm also going to bring back out my black candlesticks, which I put away in the summer for some reason. I feel like they're not a very summery thing, but they are a 
fall and winter and early spring decor. So cute. Like I get so pleased with myself. I'm like absolutely delighted. So I grab the camera, don't even take it out of the stand. And I'm like, come look at how adorable this is. Whoop. And I have to un out zoom. What is it called? Zoom out. And look, I appreciate that my liver decides to like match the whole color vibe of everything. Thanks liver. Ugh, don't look at that kitchen. Okay, so we're feeling pretty good. Let's go back over here and lay out this rug. So I am sad that we used so much fabric softener because it did really loosen up the backing of the rug. And now it's very wrinkly. It's, it's very rolly. See how it looks right there? Basically how it looks right now. Anytime there's people walking on it or movement, it doesn't lay flat nicely. It just rolls. So next time I'm going to ask to please not use fabric softener that it just doesn't, that I need the hard backing of it. When I roll this back in, a bunch of like uh, a sucker stick, a little bit of dirt and a Skittle come out onto my nice clean rug and I sweep it over and I don't pay any more attention. Like I put it in a dirt pile and wandered off later, much later, like after I'm done filming, filming the review, Leroy or somebody, but come on, we know who it was. It was Leroy. He's so bad. Like had chewed the Skittle, like licked it enough to where red Skittle coating is all over that rug and all over a Lammy, which is how I know it was him. Look at him just watch me. He's just like super into me. All right, what do you think of that right there? I don't hate it because now it's not in front of my bedroom door and so I don't see it immediately, but I don't love it right there. I don't know how I feel about it. You'll get several more glimpses as we go and like form a good opinion about what you think and let me know because I don't know. I didn't really even put much on it either to decorate it back up, which maybe would help. I don't know. All right, I'm finally getting the last of this stuff that I just pulled out of my room, this chaotic mess, and I'm going to do something with it. I put it over here first, and it's so colorful. It's, it's jarring and ugly right there. And although you can't see really well, I move it to the other. We can't see it at all. I move it to the other side, and the bookshelf, all of the books and the kids homeschool stuff is really colorful so it it matches so much more and then we just have grossness look at this I'm telling you it's like every day we just have paper and tissues and dog hair I don't think I'm doing a great job here. If I, if memory serves, I'm just trying to get stuff up a little bit and then I'm going to come back and clean it. I don't know. I see myself vacuuming. So maybe I mop next. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to pick somewhere else to go. Yep. Okay. Here we go. I got out my decor so that I can start putting things away and putting up new stuff. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. So here's my thought process here. Why I switched to this part. I was looking at my counter, um, in the kitchen and it looked so beautiful and was making me so, so, so happy. And I thought, okay, and then the other space I had closed out, laying the rug, putting those things back. It did look pretty. It wasn't making me thrilled though. So I was thinking, okay, 
I am so in love with my decor and the cleanness of the kitchen island. Let's put up more fall decor. Let's go ahead and do like the big decor zone, which is this one. And once that's up, you will be so happy and it will look so beautiful that it will motivate you to finish everything else. Except for the entryway because ugh. Another thing is I'm not sure what I'm going to pull from the entryway to decorate with and what I'm going to keep from out here to put back in the entryway. So that needed to be last. And then eventually I just didn't do it because I didn't want to. Okay. This, I love that I can take the shelves off and wipe them when, because I couldn't, I didn't feel like moving the chair, to be honest. It seemed easier to take the shelf off, wipe it, and put it back, then move the chair so I could reach it. What's hard here is I have a lot of things to put out, but no real idea of how I'm going to do it. And my living room is a huge, huge, huge mess. So it's hard for me to put things places. So it's a lot of me trying to be like, oh my gosh, just any idea of where one thing would go would be super helpful. Oh, and then, so last time I talked to you guys, I said that my fall anti-fatigue mats had ripped because we had stored them too long. And then I found them right there fully intact. I have no memory. I don't know which one ripped. Like I, was it my Christmas ones that I had to get rid of? I don't know. I remember throwing some away and I thought it was the fall ones, but there they are alive and well. Okay. Americana zipped up. This does not go upstairs though, because it also has Halloween specific decor in it that I'm going to need soon. This is just me being indecisive and being really excited about the things that I already own, but I kind of forgot that I owned. <sighs> Apparently I chose against that. This is, I don't really have a lot to say. Look at Sweet Potato. She's being too nosy. She's the cutest cat. I'm glad I cut her tail off. Just kidding, guys. She's a tailless cat. Okay. I think at some point. So when I very, very first started this channel, I actually did a fall decor um, reset and stuff like that. And I think... I can't remember what I did on my mantle. So at one point I go back and I watch that video so I can see what it looks like. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's the general idea of what I had going on. And so um, trying to not recreate, I loved it so much, but not so much recreate, but kind of match. And so these are little um, mushroom what is that called? Garland. And it's so, so cute. And you can't see it super well, but it's really cute. But right now it looks ugly to me. It just doesn't feel right. And, um, I'm a little disappointed, but as I'm adding these sprigs in these sticks, it starts looking pretty fantastic. It really feel fills it out. And it just looks really nice, I think. This one I can't get to stand up. I'm like, stand up, you stinker. So I get this to prop it up. I should have zoomed in closer. You guys, it does look super cute. And then I have a little gnome. He's so cute. I put him next to the candle. I'm a little scared of lighting the candle and then catching him on fire. So when I did light my candle much, much later, like I scooted him over just to make sure. Okay, so with the mantle done and me pulling the tags off, weirdly, all of the stuff in the Hobby Lobby bags that showed up in my house had tags on them. I, I don't understand what that means. 
but they all, every single one of them had tags. So I don't know. It's crazy. It's a mystery that I don't think will ever be solved. Okay, so I am still trying to do a little bit of the sunflower vibe because late fall into early, no, sorry, late summer into early fall, still very sunflowery. But they also kind of look off. Oh, that was my kid. Sorry. Oh, there he is again. Okay, so I also am trying to like harmonize since there's one sunflower thing over there, there's some sunflower things over here. If there is a big picture kind of thing on one side, eventually I, you'll see in a minute, but I'm trying to kind of try to match, but not too much. So the top shelf, it has two and they're close and the other one will have two and they're far. Does that make sense? so that they, they rhyme, that there's harmony. I don't know if that's real. I'm not actually a interior designer, but I get so dazzled by my decor when I'm done that maybe I am really good at this. I don't know. Maybe I just really like myself and everything I do is amazing. That is a possibility, but I think it's both. It's probably both. Okay. So I go put that in the front closet and it's cut out, but it takes me so long because so much stuff falls out and tries to kill me because that front closet, it's bad. Okay, and then I found this. It has weird paper things on the corner. Can't, can't explain it, but I remember that I found it and I did want it up for my decor. It's like a little fall painting. And so that's where I put that. And I just needed to show you guys that I put that there. All right. Okay. So let's just get the living room organized and then we'll have, we will have a good portion of the house set. And hopefully with a good portion of the house set, I will still do that kitchen table back there. The office is rapidly falling off of the things I'm going to do. And I'm pretty sure I decided the entryway is completely out. And the good thing about the entryway is when I do a full walkthrough, like beginning thing, it's really easy to edit it out. So you guys never know that I have the intention of cleaning the entryway. And it's just a good way to gaslight, manip manipulate you guys. And that's, you know, one of the things we do here is try to trick you into everything. Um, and, you know, eventually after enough brainwashing, you'll join my cult. And I think that's nice. It's a good time. We'll have coffee and, you know, cult it up. All right. Here, you won't see it well, but you'll see it in the after. I am clearly not doing it. Where, when does that happen, guys? Okay, I stuffed something into those sunflowers, and I'm not sure if it looks cute or super terrible. I like that there is a piece of paper behind there that I never see, and it is still behind that pillow to this very day. And Kesha cannot catch a hint and get off the stinking couch. She just keeps thinking she can move from spot to spot. All right, this uh, orangey brown, burnt orange blanket on that green chair almost makes me want to take back everything I said about the green chair. It looks so good and brings me such joy. Um, a new blanket showed up. Oh gosh, yes. And a little mushroom pillow. I don't realize, oh my goodness, it's backwards. I didn't realize until watching this back that one side has like white spots for the mushroom. Dang. All right. So that pillow was from last year and clearly does not match this year's vibe. So it has to go over into the other room. And I'm just trying to figure out what size pillow will fit these throw pillows. Not that one. Luckily, I have 9 million throw pillows. And these do fit. So this was also from last year's fall vibe. And they don't go with this blanket. And I love this blanket. So they 
are not going to stay on our couch. Also, I struggle really hard to zip that one, apparently. <laughs> I put it on top of Kesha. Why did I do that? Poor Kesha Dubeans. She lives the hard knock life. Just over there in the little corner. I was telling my husband about how Leroy is clearly the most popular part of my channel and how well loved he is for such a rotten dog and he's terrible and no good. Um, and then like second most popular is sweet potato pie because she's just always involved and that people do know who beauty is. And Kesha was sitting right next to me and my husband kept staring intently at Kesha and I was like, and no one cares about her probably because she blends in with the couch coloring and never moves. Like people probably don't know she exists. She's just right there, not doing anything, matching my couch. So yeah, that's uh, that's probably why it, she doesn't get talked about as much. Okay, here are the things. So look, I'm going to stuff them in here. And then later you get a close-up look. I'm not sure I feel how I feel about it, if it's cute or if it just looks really weird. So hopefully you tell me what you think. See, look, she hopped around and then she laid on top of the couch cushion and you basically can't see her now. And then that black cat you saw, that's Blackberry. The, we do have three cats, Sweet Potato and two others, but the two others don't care to spend so much time with me and my big house, but they want to stay in the small, they want to stay in the twins room with the twins on the twins bed and they only want to be with the twins all of the time. Like that's who they love and that's where they want to be. And they only tend to come out if the girls are out and they're like, hey, hey, you forgot about me. I love you so much. We only spent 23 hours together. And then I remembered I have side tables that need to be cleaned off. And so let's do that. I love having a vacuum to vacuum my couch. Not the worst we've seen, you guys. We've seen so much more stuff under that ottoman. Leroy's super hopeful that there was something to eat under there. He really likes to eat fuzz and dust bunnies, and it really bothers me. I don't think he should try to eat those. It's starting to look so cute, you guys. The more I watch Kesha move around, the more I'm like, oh, okay, maybe she does move around a little bit more. And then she laid back down and invisible. So I want to clean off this area and then let the floor dry before I put the ottoman back over it. Beauty's bed is done, so we have to restuff it. Which apparently I forgot how it goes. But Leroy's here to supervise to make sure I do it correctly. He knows how it goes. I really like this bed. And Beauty seems to like it too. I don't ever sleep in it, but she does. And she seems to be happy with it. I do like that I can wash the cover. And done so. Let's put it in my room. Okay, I guess that was enough time and I could move the ottoman back over it and get the rest of this stinking living room taken care of. I think I do start putting a little bit too much in the entryway just to kind of get rid of it, which is a bad habit. I was like, oh, I'm not showing this on camera. I could just fill it full of crap. No one will know. And 
And beauty always wants to lay exactly where I want to sweep. It's her special skill set, I guess. Okay. Time to sweep the big things. Oh, okay. And in case it comes up, I like to sweep first because I have big items that will not come up with the vacuum, as you can see. But then I like to vacuum after because of the tufts of hair and the little bit of dirt. But I'm sweeping here and there is a lot of dog hair that just keeps getting blown everywhere because I have the ceiling fan on. And it just won't come to the dirt pile. It only wants to go back towards the camera and annoy me. So I come to, to get just the chunks. I hit you a little bit. Sorry, guys. But you are getting covered in dog hair. Don't you want me to hit you a tiny bit if it saves you from the dog hair? That sounds like an abusive relationship. I won't hit you guys. I promise not to do it again. I love you so deeply. And Kesha's doing her best to blend in and not be observed. I bet you guys didn't even know she was right there. I think I am at this point really happy to be almost done, but then I keep turning around and seeing my kitchen table and I'm like, MF, I completely, look at how pissed she got, Kesha got, because I put cleaner next to her. She's like, ugh, my God, I don't want to be anywhere near you. Wow, she really abandons me. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to leave entirely. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It looks so nice. And it looks so not nice. <sighs> See, that's a problem with doing one room at a time is that you always look at the other room and you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is my life. Beauty is exactly where I would like to sweep. There's a whole carpet right behind her that she could lay down in. She chooses not to. I think she goes and lays on the freshly mopped floor instead. <laughs> Thanks, beauty. Okay, I think now for a fact, I know I'm not gonna actually clean the office, but I do know that I wanna sweep and mop it and rotate that one chair from looking out the window again. And so all I have to really do is sweep and mop right here um, and behind my couch because that was gross. Uh, clean that kitchen table off, sweep and mop, and then do the back counter and sweep and mop the kitchen and we're done. So like we're in the home stretch. Oop. We're in the home stretch and I am tired. And my back does hurt, but I'm not going to stop. I do not want to stop. I want a full reset. I want those cozy fall vibes without my summer trashness coming in to damage it. So here we go. I also got a new fall vibe apron and tried it on and it looked so terrible. It's like the person who designed it remembered that women had boobs, but couldn't remember what shapes they were. And so they just like did their best with how the top should go. And it was the worst. It was so terrible. I have to take it back. There was no way. And now this is nice and set up so nobody could ever play chess in my house. Oh, this part was overwhelming. I just felt like this table hasn't been cleaned in my living memory. It just felt like it's always been cluttered, always been terrible, and will never be good. 
I don't know, for some reason, this zone was really hard for me to do. And in reality, it wasn't that hard. But I just felt like it was going to be a lot of decisions. And that I didn't want to make very many decisions, but it wasn't. It was a lot of sorting. Almost no decisions were made. It was mostly just sorting. Trash, put away things, and dishes. But there are like the floor things. Oh, I don't put them on my kitchen chairs because those are the little round guards for the bottoms of our chairs. I, I don't. I'm not. That's too much for me. So those get put into the laundry room for another day when I feel so motivated. And I am close. There's so much like crunchies on the table. Ugh. I have this little brush right here that you'll see me use in just a second. So close to using the brush. I swear I'll use that brush. It is coming up after that part. And that part, I'm gonna put a few things away. This brush, see it? Okay, it's this tiny little brush that I use to scrape out all of the seams, which I know they're not called seams, but whatever, with all the crumbs and everything like that. And it just helps because sometimes it can get so much buildup in there. And I, I never learned my lesson uh, the craft table that we moved upstairs was also a kitchen table that also had these kind of wood seams. Uh, what is that word? What is that word? Anyways, I know it's not seams. But anyway, and it gathered all of the food, all of the Play-Doh, all of the glitter. And I was like, oh, no. And so now it's my kid's craft table. And then I bought this table that has just as many. And I'm like, oh, it will never happen again. <laughs> It'll be fine. And it's not fine. It's gross. Also, upholstered kitchen chairs. No, that's just another word for my kids think those are napkins. And they are gross. And I've tried to clean them and I don't have a good way. And I don't care today. So just scrape off the visible food and the stains can exist. Later I found something to eat. I think that's why he follows me around. He's just so hopeful something will fall on the ground that he can eat. This is going really well. Okay, and so yes, this rug, I had talked about it before. I think it's a little bit too small and it is a little bit too small, but I really like it. So it gets to stay. And I certainly will not have them apply so much fabric softener when I eventually do take it to get cleaned. <laughs> Look at how nice it's laying. I guess it's not that nice. I see a couple rolls. And I thought you guys really wanted to see my dirt pile, so I adjusted the camera angle so you could. And then also maybe for a, a nice little change of view while I mop. And that's, by the way, what you see in the office, that's all I did was the floor and turn the chair. I'm not about to do any more than I absolutely have to from this point on. See, look, I'm not even, I'm not even picking stuff off. I'm just kicking it into the next room. I'm like, expo marker can go over there and that toy can go over there. I'm not putting it away. And I don't come back just so you know, I don't come back for it. All right, this is the like the true home stretch, guys. The back counter. That's all. Okay, and sweep them up. Whatever. Quit bringing stuff up. The back counter. All we have to do is this. And I do see that there are more dishes than fit in the sink, so I can't just ignore the dishes, which kind of stinks, but also was really good because then when it was done, actually everything was done. Like the dishes were done. The sink was cleaned and emptied. And I loved that. I have to get more garbage bags. So we bought this trash can from Bed Bath & Beyond when we moved here. And then our Bed Bath & Beyond 
went out of business. And so I got a ton of trash bags for it. And we haven't bought trash bags in well over a year. And we're finally down to the last part of it. And I'm going to have to buy trash bags, which is sad, you know. In the grand scheme of things, it's probably the saddest thing ever. I can't think of anything worse, but I'll get through it, guys. Don't worry. I have told everybody in my family to stop drinking the bottled water. Those are for emergencies only, and you can drink water out of the glass. And um, so far, nobody's listened. And so I have a ton of water bottles still everywhere. And when the hurricanes come, I'll have to buy more. All right. Last round of dishes. Super excited about it, you guys. This, I was like trying to get some of the burnt on edge off. Like it's discolored. I know I could use barkeepers on it, but uh, also not going to do that. I like how I'm pointing out everything that I'm not willing to do. Sorry, guys. What I am willing to do, these dishes and everything else that I've done, I am getting so much done. And we haven't seen this from me in so long. It's been a lot of trying but not getting it done which is fine because we are I'm trying to honor my body and figure things out and you know pace myself but we did need a really satisfying whole house clean didn't we like just something we needed I do like it when my dishes are primarily giant mixing bowls because that inherently limits how many dishes I can do. I threw these away. I cannot get over the idea that they're big, giant plastic water bottles and then we take them outside and then I just feel like maybe the sun is shining through the plastic and leaching toxins into the water and then my kids are drinking toxins. And once that idea started going in my head, I really couldn't let it go. And we have so many stainless steel water bottles that I don't need to worry about that. I don't need that to be a concern of mine, so I just throw them away. Now I'm not concerned. Life hack. If something's bothering you, throw it away. And you never have to think of it again. I could be a therapist. It seems really easy. My friend Meg, Millennial Meg, she's one, so I imagine the bar is really low. Oh my god. I know for a fact she won't watch this far into my video, so it doesn't matter what I say about her. I'm not even sorry, Meg. She won't know. It's hilarious. You guys should go over to sub to her, Millennial Meg. She's so close to a thousand subscribers, and I want her to get over the thousand mark so she could monetize and all that. I don't know why. I'm just really hyper focused on her YouTube journey as well. And so it's not really for her. I don't care if she monetizes. I don't care if her channel does great. It's for me, guys. Like, I need this to happen because it is currently something I am super focused on. Like, every day I text her and I'm like, only 73 subs left. I wonder if that bothers her. But yeah, even she was on vacation in Mexico and I still felt the urge to check her subs and then text her how many she had left to 1,000. All right, we are so close to being done. I should get another Ninja cooker considering I use it every single day. They're the greatest. I'm going to wait until Prime Day and then buy one, I think. Apparently here I go through and open and shut all of my drawers for no real reason. I think I was putting stuff away, but it was a very funny thing to watch in a row. And then just some silverware putting it away. I think I sped this part up so that it would go faster for you guys. I did not suddenly get the energy to move significantly faster. I mean, all of it's sped up, but this part's extra sped up. We are now down to three glass straws in our house. My daughter broke one earlier today, so I'm going to have to get more straws because I also threw away all the plastic ones. Not because of the toxins, but because 
I don't think that they were cleaned really well. I've stopped cleaning the uh, straws because I don't drink out of them and I want my daughters to actually clean them. And I, I don't know, I think they're going to hold on to bacteria better than the glass ones. So I don't know, I just make stuff up in my brain and then decide it's fact. And then I just like make all of my life decisions off of this fact that I just made up in my brain. And it, it's fine. Okay, we're at the point I didn't even want to look for cleaner, so we're just going to use the cleaning wipes. Also, my back's starting to hurt. Like, it's getting really tight in the lower back area. I think I end up, like, needing to really stretch and, oof, do a lot of stuff. I, doing this whole house clean, like, it does make my bones hurt quite a bit, and... I did get pretty sore and it messed up my sleep pattern for a little bit. But I don't think it's the reason my heart decided to be dramatic. Because it had been long enough. But I am glad that we're still basically in a state where I could do a little bit of tidying here and there. And I asked my husband to do the dishes today. Um, and then immediately told him not to do the dishes so I could fill my voice over. I bet it's so fun being married to me. It's got to be easy, like just so easy, breezy, beautiful. I know you guys all said it in your head too. All right. Yes. Do I vacuum? I do vacuum. Look at me doing the extra, even though I don't want to do the any. I'm amazing. There's a white thing on the floor right there. Oh, I do see it and pick it up. Okay, good job, me. I like that I, first of all, do it in real life, then watch it back to edit it. And I'm still surprised by what I do next when I watch it for the third time. Why is that? I'm just like, oh, I did this. I'm amazing. Even though I just saw myself do it. And then I had been the person who did it previously. I do need to clean off that coffee bar. I did skip over it and it has like coffee grinds and some spills and like a little bit of sugar here and there on it. But every single time I do stuff and I clean, it just seems like the thing I should cut, like the entryway. I'm like, no, not going to do it. So I need to, on one of these days when I have the energy and dedicated time that needs to be the thing I put 10 minutes on is just the little coffee bar thing and just really get the old coffee grinds off of it okay here we go what do you think final results I think it's fantastic it looks so beautiful so homey so fall I could not be happier I'm really in love with it. This display makes me so stinking happy. I think it turned out really cute. Kind of on the fence about those sunflowers though, but they don't stay there forever. There's Kesha Do. And the kitchen counter. It's the fake hydrangeas in the brown glass bottle on that plaid that just really feels good to me. Like it brings me so much joy. And I have a clean sink. But I did not close that drawer and I'm trying to do it through the camera and I kept missing it. It's so beautiful. And the hydrangeas, even though they're, they're silk flowers, they are really pretty. And I love that my kitchen table is finally cleared off and has the one, the one lone hydrangea on it. And this zone looks great. I wish Leroy stayed right there because he was really matching the vibe. Okay, look, what do you think of those little orangey thingies? Anyway, thank you so much for spending time with me. I absolutely loved it. Please subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you in the next video. I love you. Bye.